Hi, this is Michael Johnston from Dresden and Johnston and my new live band, The Swerve. Um, I'm here today with my vintage Neve 5462 console, which we've used for a variety of projects, including the latest remix for Enrique Iglesias, which uh, just hit number one on the Billboard club charts. Um, today I'm doing an upgrade of the op amps. The op amps are the amplifiers that uh, power um, many sections of the console, including the mic pre's, um, the EQ's, um, faders, the master section, and the outputs. So, um, the original op amps in here are the NE5534's, which are um, pretty well known. They've been used in a variety of consoles going back to the late 70's and into the 80's. Um, one of the most famous is the SSL 4000 used them. Uh, of course, now we've got uh, much better op amps available to us that uh, are cleaner and um, have a faster slew rate. So replacing them should improve the fidelity of the console overall and um, give me a better sound for my mixes. Um, what I'm hoping to do is the console's a little bit dark. Uh, I'd like to brighten it up a little bit, um, and this is one of the things that I believe will help do that. Okay, so... Um, we're going to go, like I said, from the any 5534s to the OPA, Burr Brown OPA 134s. Um, if you take a look inside here, this is the master section. Um, this board right here controls the talk back, the monitor, the program, um, and various other functions of the master section. We have the output amplifiers, which are the Neve V645s. Uh, here and here, and then we have the big Neve output transformers, which are famous for that Neve sound. Um, I've already started replacing the op amps in this console, but I'm going to go ahead and continue. Um, usually I would use a chip puller, but I don't have my chip puller, I can't find it, so I'm just going to do it by hand. Um, it's a little bit tricky in the back here, but I'm going to pull this chip out by carefully rocking it back and forth and pulling it out. These are socketed, they're not surface mounted, so it makes it a lot easier. It's a lot more plug and play. Um, so I pulled the original NE5534 out. Now I'm going to take the Burr Brown op amp and I'm going to bend the pins in a little bit because they're a little bit too wide to comfortably fit. Now on the socket, uh, I don't know if you can see in there, um, it's a little dark, but there's like a little half moon on the socket. That shows you which direction to put the op amp in. If you look at the op amp, it also has a little half moon, and that helps you to line it up. You do not want to put them in backwards, or you will um, definitely have problems. You'll blow some some capacitors and some resistors and end up having to replace a bunch of components as well as the op amp. So I'm going to line it up with the socket, depends on the op amp. It's lined up. Make sure that you do it very carefully and you don't bend any of the pins. And then just snap it in once it's lined up and there you go. It's that easy. So um, two things to remember. Don't bend any of the pins, make sure they line up properly and make sure you put them in in the right direction because uh, otherwise you will definitely get smoke coming off your console. Um, one other thing that's noteworthy is um, on the actual output amplifiers, I used a little bit different op amp. I used the analog devices AD797, um, which is an even faster and higher gain uh, and quieter op amp than the Burr Brown OPA 134s, um, but they're also quite a bit more expensive. They're about three or four times the cost of the Burr Browns, so right now I'm just using those on the amp section. The Burr Browns sound amazing and will be fine for the rest of the console. So thanks for joining me with my little geek tech talk today. Um, we're going to try and do one of these videos at least once a week. I'm not always going to go through like the mechanics of my gear. Sometimes I'll show you what I'm working on in the studio, whether it be original tracks or remixes that we've got going on for one of the projects. Um, but look out for more videos. Um, let's 
happy to be able to talk to you today and I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.